Hey guys, it's me Greta. Um, it's been about, I think, a week and a half since I last did my last video. Um, so let's see, what's going on with me right now? So right now, I'm still working out. Um, I started, this is, I think we're on April, what, April 5th, April 6th, something like that. So I decided this month to give myself a month challenge, a couple with some other people. And I decided that, um, you guys know that I've been doing four miles every day. So I decided to step it up because summer's around the corner. You guys know how excited I am about summer. So I decided to step it up to five miles a, a day. Um, for my birthday, I did get a bike. For those of you that know on Facebook, um, I got a bike. So let's see, last Friday, my brother's really good about making me, like pushing me that extra mile, kind of making me step out of my element. So he calls me and he's like, you know, let's go for a bike ride, you know, eight miles, whatever. Okay pumped you know I could do this so I get there and he's like oh yeah you know we're gonna do 13 miles and I was like oh hell no like I'm gonna die right now so I get there and you know we go from east sack to west sack I mean I did 15 miles let me tell you if it wasn't because of my bike seat which might I add I need a new one um I was tired but I mean I could have probably kept going a, a little further but I was like, wow, I did it. I did 15 miles. When have I ever done that many miles? You know, and it's like, it was, it, it just put me up to show that my work is paying off because, you know, I can kind of hang with the bigger boys, you know, I can kind of hang with the more athletic people, you know, my brother works out, I mean, faithfully six, seven days a week, three, four hours in the gym, you know, and it's like, you know, he puts his time in. So for me to be able to hang with him, you know, I was like, hey, your girls, you know, hanging in there. So that's new. Um, I started bike riding. So right now my goal is to run about 30 miles a week um, to continue doing my P90X. I'm about a month in, I think three and a half weeks out. So I'm getting close to my 90 days. I still have about another month and a week to go, which might I add, I could tell it is working. Okay. Um, so, you know, so that's my goal right now is to run 30 miles a week, um, to throw in a couple miles of, you know, bike riding in there somewhere and continue doing about six hours a week of my P90X. So that's what I'm currently doing right now. Um, I'm working overtime right now for summer. Okay. That's definitely a must. Um, let's see. Um, so I went out for my birthday and I know a lot of you have asked in the past, you know, have you tried drinking yet? Have you tried, you know, you know, have you experienced the drinking, you know? It's like, I know people personally that have had a gastric bypass and that do drink, like, I mean, it's nothing to them. I've, in the other hand, me, I've never tried it till my birthday, you know, the night before my birthday, I went out with my brother and my sister-in-law and you know, we went to happy hour and it was like, okay, well, let me try a margarita, you know? Yeah, I've tried drinks in the past. Like I've had sips here and there, but never to say I had a full drink to myself. Oh my God. I was down like not even a quarter of the margarita and I was like feeling really happy. So that was something that was a whole new experience for, for me. Um, one thing I've noticed though, is we went to a club after that, you know, just to have drinks or, you know, just to hang out. And I noticed, like, in, in the past, if I would have gone to a club, I was kind of the one in the corner. You know, I was still like, hey, you know, doing my thing. But I was more like in the corner with the girls. Well, this time it was like we had gone to, um, I think it was like a gay bar slash club, you know. And I had a blast. Like, I could tell the difference how, yeah, I've always been a confident person. But I was, I mean, I was the one in the middle of the dance floor, dancing, doing my thing, like not even caring, you know, who was looking at me. Like I totally see a difference of how my personality has changed, you know, like that girl before that needed somebody to go with her to go do something. Now it's like, you know, I'll make my own party by myself. Like, you know, I really had a blast. I really enjoyed my, myself. So um, the following day, it was my birthday. I had a really nice time with dinner, you know. I had dinner, drinks with um, my close friends. I had a blast, you know. I brought my birthday in the way I wanted to, to bring it in. Um, you know, I I have to say my birthday month, I accomplished a lot of things. I did a lot of things for myself that I normally put off. Um, but, you know, it was about me, and that's what I wanted, and, you know, that's what I got out of it. Um, so that's new, uh, just to update you guys on, on that. Um, my mom came for 24 hours on my birthday as well. I hadn't seen her in about a month. She did point out to me and notice that she did 
never fails you guys she did say that she did notice that i leaned out a lot she noticed that i looked a lot slimmer um for her to say you know because i you know lately i've been seeing her a little bit more consistent like she noticed a difference in just a month which means my hard work is paying off which means p90x does work people okay so um just want to put that out there hey people are noticing people are noticing um what else so i wanted to talk about this um i don't know if i'll have a long enough video for this but you know i'll kind of just put it out there so for those of you that are on my facebook i did make a blog um last night about um, I basically t titled it, Are You or Were You Really Ready for Weight Loss Surgery? There's a lot of people that I've noticed, you know, have been asking me a lot more questions, a lot of new newcomers or people that are inquiring on weight loss or that, you know, are on the verge of having weight loss, but they're just very insecure, you know, they're looking for answers, you know, they don't feel maybe that they're as confident in their decision because of ABC reason. You know, one thing, and I think the last couple of videos, I stress this so much, you know, weight loss surgery is something that's for the rest of your life. It is a tool. Yeah, you know, along my journey, I've gone through a lot of cr criticism. I've gone through people judging me. I've gone through people talking about me in a positive, in a negative way. I always tell newcomers that you have to develop thick skin because people are always going to talk. You're never going to make people happy. And at the end of the day, it's like when you find that happy place and you find a spot where you're happy, I mean, you're truly happy though, where you go to bed at night and you're like, God, you know, I'm doing everything that I want to be doing right now. No one can take that from you. So, you know, I would suggest, you know, you have to be really mentally prepared. I say this almost all my videos because, God, you guys, like, you don't understand. When you're mentally prepared, anything's pop possible. You know, you're going to run into those negative, bitter Betty people that, you know, tell you, oh, don't do this. It's an easy way out, yada, yada. You know, you really have to invest into finding out the ins and out of weight loss surgery, whether it's networking with people on Facebook, whether it's networking with people on YouTube, whether it's talking to your doctor, talking to other patients, you know, you really have to do your homework, you know, um, I'm always here to answer questions for you guys, and I always try to keep it real. Like, if you ask me a question and it, it is what it is, like, that's going to be my, my answer. I will never sugarcoat it for you because if I were on your side, which at one point I was, I would want that same respect, you know? Like, I would want somebody to tell me the ins and outs of it, you know? And I do want to concentrate in my next videos just to talk about stuff that people don't want to talk about, you know? I think that's very important to put myself out there like that because it's like I want to be looked at as, you know what, ask Greta because she'll tell you straight up, like, it's, you know, it's like this or it's like that, you know? Like, I feel that people should be told also the dark side of it, you know? Like, I've made videos about that, you know? Um, one thing that I feel is very important to me is, like, you do have to be in a good spiritual place. You have to be in a good mental place. Um, you know, and it's like, you do have to put the work in. I've seen people along my journey, other, you know, weight loss surgery people that, um, patients that have given up that are depressed that, my God, you know, it's like, I wish I could jump through the computer sometimes and tell people like, do you not realize like you got a second chance? Do you like, why would you let that go to waste? You know, it's like, you know, take it from a person that has been there, that has seen the possibilities of stuff that, that, that can happen. So, yeah, you know, let's keep it real. People need to realize that weight loss surgery is a second chance to make things right. So why let it go to waste? Even, not even if you had weight loss surgery, you know, it's like, um, you know, if you really put your mind to, you know what, I'm going to lose the weight this year. Um, I'm going to diet. I'm going to eat healthy or whatever. You know what? Really commit to it. Don't make it something you do for a month. I'm going to diet for a month. No, make it a life change. Like, I don't know how to put through to you guys that, what a wonderful feeling like and i'm glad that certain of my friends or family members are going now experiencing what i went through because now i don't feel like people are looking at me and it's like oh yeah whatever it must not be that good or you know whatever yada yada it's all good now or whatever but now they experience it and they relate to me and they're like damn you know like what was i thinking like you know so I just wanted to put that out there another thing was is that it's very important for a lot of you guys not to compare yourself to somebody that went through it 
that's a year down the road from you or that's nowhere near what you're about to go through, you know, because you're just setting yourself up for failure. You have to go, like if they're on YouTube, go back to the stage where you're at, you know, look at that, 